Good morning. It's going to be 40 knots today, apparently, and I'm on a mission to do 50 knots speed. Yes, today I'm driving to Portland Harbour to see how fast I can go on a speed board. I got an old friend, James Longmere. He actually uh, gave me my first proper sponsorship deal about 12 years ago, but we stayed in touch and he's very into his speed sailing. And I've always fancied a go at it. Today we're going to do it. I'm going to get down there and send it. And then hopefully do some big air afterwards. It's about a two hour drive. Going to pick up um, a friend, a young filming apprentice on the way who's going to help me get some clips. And yeah, let's see how fast we can go. I'd love to do 50, but I don't think there's much chance. I think it's to break 40 is, is decent. So let's go. Portland Harbour is located beside the Isle of Portland on the south coast of England. Construction of the harbour was completed in 1872 and took 23 years to complete. Its 520 hectare surface area makes it one of the largest man-made harbours in the world. And you can see why it's such a good place to kite surf and especially good place to go as fast as you possibly can. This is why they hold Weymouth Speed Week here every year and it's one of the best places for speed sailing in the UK. James was kind enough to give me some tips, lend me a GPS watch, and let me have a go on some of his homemade speedboards. Right, so this is Jack, my, pre my uh, apprentice for the day. He's going to help me do some filming. We just got to Pool Harbour and met up with James. It's pretty windy already. I would say about 25 to 30 knots right now. Um, it's quite rainy, which is a shame. I was hoping it's going to be a little sunnier and brighter, but hey ho, it's windy and we're ready to go. So, first up, I'm going to launch my drone and James is going to show us how it's done. So, check it out. <laughs> So James just came in from the first run. How was it out there? It was good. It's like loads of wind at the top of the course. If you're trying to do a 500 run, it's really, really broad. So you kind of run out of power, but I think um, speeds are around 45, 46 knots. So yeah, what, what's, what's my speed? What's the speed to beat? Speed to beat for Sam today is 46.6. <laughs> so I've gone for the nine meter RPM and yeah, gonna give it a go.
which has motivated me even more. I'm so close. Just got to get that gust. Come on. definitely took a while to get used to the board it's a strange feeling um, but it's super windy out there I was very powered on my nine meter um, first few runs I did like 40 42 and then had a 46 and then James came out and we went up to the top of the harbor and we found some flatter water and posted a 48 and then I came past James and said 48 48 and then James went and set a 50.2. 50.24. Um, 50.24. Never, never been as quick. Fastest um, ever. Fastest to the harbour. And looking at Sam's GPS, he's done a 49.88. Yeah, after that, I was trying to get the 50, and yeah, 49.88, which is so it, close mean, to 50, it's, it's so annoying. It's ridiculous to kind of turn up barely ridden the board like that before and go and do that it's and like the, the 100 meter and the 250 meter times are pretty damn good as well they're both over 40 knots so I'm I pleased think. that I pushed pushed him <laughs> gave him that push to get over 50 so claim, all, I'm like it. it's a weird feeling because I'm stoked to go 49.8 but also a little bit gutted to just be just a little short just means I'm gonna have to come back you're going to have to make your own boards next time. <laughs> He's not going to lend me his board next time. No, sorry mate, Yeah, that one's broken. <laughs> no, that was really good mate, well done. Yeah, really thanks well done. a lot. No, cheers for that, that was fun. Now time for some big air. <laughs> off the water after having one of the worst crashes I've had in years. I got stuck backwards mid back roll kite loop and jarred my neck like I have never jarred it before. It was very gusty out there. Um, I didn't really notice so much doing the speed sailing but not good for technical big air. It's fine because it's super windy but very gusty and punchy so yeah, not the best big air session, but stoked on the speed sailing earlier, and I'll be back to break the 50 knot barrier. Um, really happy for my buddy James to break it, and uh, yeah, stoked that I would gave him the extra push, and I'm really pleased with 49.8, but painfully close. It's, it's on the bucket list to do 50 knots one day. I'm going to have to come back for another video. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, yeah, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Smash the like button if you want to see more speed sailing. Had a lot of fun. And yeah, thanks a lot for Jack for helping me film today. See you in the next video. Peace out.